but hold on. We're dealing with pneumonia. You make me happy. Morning, y'all. Amy here. Welcome back to the farm. Today, I'm going to be going over everything around here and giving y'all updates on all the things from my seedlings to the peacocks to the amount of turkeys that hatch to how the animals are doing. We're going to talk about it all. But first, before I do that, I got to do the chores. So, we're going to go. You're going to come with me. We'll do that real quick and then we'll get to the updates. Chores are done. Now we'll do updates on all the things. Update number one, turkey babies. So I had nine eggs originally that I put into the incubator. I candled them all at 12 days. Eight of the nine were viable. The one that was not developing at all got tossed out. So there were eight good developing eggs. Of those eight eggs, eight turkeys hatched. All the little babies are in a brooder box in my house. For the next week or two and then they will be transferred out into the barn but I'm not keeping them all I'm only gonna keep three of them and I'm gonna hang on to them until I like about a week or two old the little male turkeys will start to do like their little feathers down strutting thing and so I'm going to wait until I get some signs of that because I want one male and two females so that's what I would like to keep the rest will be going to a friend's house so hopefully, hopefully they'll start to do that at about a week old and then I can get my three that I will keep and then I will pass on the others. All right, update number two, y'all. I have euthanized my honey bee hive. Um, I got into it another time and 
I put duct tape all on my chin so that I didn't get stung because they pushed the veil in um, because they attacked so hard and I did not get stung at all but y'all it was terrible and the bees have started targeting the kids now when they're out and so I decided enough was enough and I need to start all over so I euthanized the hive a couple of days ago and unfortunately all of the bees that were foragers that were out um I didn't go back out the night before and like do the rest of the hive or do I'm not gonna go into my methods and how I did it and things but hold on being chased by one now this is my point the foragers that were out um i did it on a rainyish day so that as many bees as possible would be in but there were not they were not all in and um the bees that are left are pretty aggressive and this has been a couple of days now and I'm still being attacked and my husband's being attacked. So far, we've been able to, hold on. So far, my husband and the kids have not been stung. My father-in-law got stung in the head a couple times um, because he doesn't run. And I carry around a bottle of soapy water when I'm having to be out here doing stuff. Like when I was feeding up this morning, y'all, I was, I'm going to be cutting out all the clips of where I'm running from bees. And I sprayed a different spray on myself. What in the world? Hang on. I'm going to attempt to hide in here. And maybe I won't be found. Anyway, um, I sprayed like a bug spray. I did like, it was a, like a... Um, tea tree oil and peppermint oil um, bug spray on myself to try to change the smell. I know they can see me y'all. I know that seeing people is part of the deal but I tried to change smells um, and it's changing my scent and then <laughs> Brian doesn't smell like I do and the kids don't smell exactly like I do and they would put on different things um, but we've gotten to the point where the kids can't come outside because it's not safe. And Brian and I have done a couple of things outside. But like I was saying, I carry a water bottle of soapy water um, that I would just spray all around as they're trying, you know, trying to get me. And then they fly off because they'll get a little bit on them and they'll fly off to like go clean themselves off or whatever. And so um yeah it's last night i had planned on when all everybody was back into the hive i was gonna go and i was going to treat the hive after dark and unfortunately just it's just gonna ruin all the comb and stuff in there that i had wanted to save for the next colonies but it is what it is um i have a full i had kept one box that I got all the bees off of and I put it in a trash bag and I closed it up tight and left it sitting in the sun and so that hive which doesn't have anything on the comb at all um will hopefully be a box of of you know good honeycomb not honeycomb but brood comb and stuff that I hear them that I will be able to use in the future. But what they're in right now, what they keep going back to, I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to like spray down the whole thing or something at night to get the rest of them because this is, this is ridiculous. Um, but I was able to get the honey super off before I did anything else. And so I've got my last uh, harvest of honey from this hive which is a lot. 
and then um, yeah so I'm gonna start all over again and I got to get the last of these bees gone because they are causing problems lots of problems so yeah and it's something that I, I hated to do but at the same time I'm glad I did and I'm glad I'm doing because y'all this is not what it's supposed to be like it's not supposed to be like this okay next update as you can see I'm in this coop area and there are no I almost said penguins <laughs> there are no penguins in here there are no peacocks in here there's also no penguins but there's no peacocks in here because if the bees allow I'm gonna go show you all right here I am again back in the shed because I was I was I was showing you the peacocks and then there it was and then I ran around the goat pen a little bit and I went back over there and I was getting the camera set up to do it again and um there was more than one and so I ran again and they were keeping up with me so they were getting almost in my hair so I was like you know what forget it just forget it so that's that I can show you like little clips but y'all I just can't be out there doing video today just not gonna work so this morning when I was feeding up it was early enough that they weren't all out and about so I was able to get like a lot done and only be chased like once or twice but not now now it's warmed up and here they are okay um, but the thing is the peacocks got moved into their new area where they're going to be with a roost and everything for a couple of weeks to a month and then that door will be open and they will be free to go. Now they're going to free range but I'm going to feed them about the same time as someone suggested feed them the same time they'll know to come back every day and that's what I'm gonna do that's the plan so they stay around here there's plenty of space here y'all plenty of space so they will I'm just I'm excited because even though he's only a year old I want to see him like strutting around and from my research they don't do that full they don't have their full tail and do the whole dance and all that until they're like three years old. So it'll be a little while before we see like like his dad Scott from Cog Hill Farm. All of that isn't gonna happen until like he's a little bit older. But I'm excited for it. But anyway, since we're speaking of the peacocks, obviously y'all you need to know their names. So here's what we did. I got all the kids together and my husband Brian and we sat down and I went through all the names on the past couple of videos like I read them all and that many people it, it was divided like these people wanted this and these people wanted that so Brian came in as the tiebreaker and the names of the peacocks of Misty Dawn Farm are drumroll Duke and Duchess and not pretty the Duke and Duchess of Misty Dawn Farm so that's their names and so we're very excited and we appreciate all the suggestions very much. I don't know who all said Duke and Duchess, but it was mentioned multiple times and that was what was chosen. We're gonna run through some of the updates while I'm here in the shed because it's a little scary out there. So this is what we're doing. Um, the next update is going to be my seedlings. I did a seedling video, y'all, they came up. They're doing fantastic. I've got them all inside the house on different windowsills and on a table by the window and they're doing fantastic also out there in my garden beds the last time I talked to you about those everything was doing well except onions like it was very sporadic but y'all my onions have come up so the onions and the carrots and the cabbage and the cauliflower and the broccoli and the radishes and the potatoes are all up all doing well okay next update my goats the cold 
to hot, to cold, to hot, to wet temperatures. It's been fluctuating. It's been wet and y'all, we're dealing with pneumonia. Um, it's just something that's happening to other goats in the local area as well. It's just, it's just what's going on right now because of the weather and the temperature fluctuations. So Batman and Toby are the two that are currently battling pneumonia and they're doing okay though, y'all. They had, they're on day four or five of their antibiotics and their shots and they're doing okay. Batman was taking it harder, but he's okay now. Um, he did struggle a little bit this morning with his breakfast. He wasn't very hungry and he was moving kind of slow, but compared to what they were, there's no more runny noses. Um, their coughing is minimal. It's still, it's still somewhat congested sounding, but it's a lot better than it was before. And so far, all the other goats are doing okay. Well, that is the updates for this video. If I missed anything, y'all, if you have any questions about anything else that I didn't mention, let me know in the comments and I will address it next time. Y'all, we've got stuff coming up this next week. Um, it's almost garden time. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of garden content coming. And there's another new animal coming to the farm. It's not new as in like a breed I don't have. It's something that I already have. It's just another one of something that I already have. Actually, that's not true. There's more than one. There's multiple things coming. Two different uh, species of things coming to the farm within the next like week. So yeah, y'all, there's gonna be stuff going on, stuff happening, stay tuned. And until next time, keep on the sunny side.